Hello everyone and welcome to episode 22 of our Raspberry Pi series and in today's episode I want to continue on from last week, this is part 2 and I just want to talk about the problems that we had last week that we never really explained why they were happening and especially the imaging problem where it was basically filling up the root partition which was in turn blocking the um, Open Media Vault dashboard from being able to log into it. So I want to address that particularly but also since episode 6 when we installed Nginx Proxy Manager um, we have had reports of um, a Maria database problem where it's been blocking connections so that the um, Nginx Proxy Manager dashboard couldn't load up. I had a bad gateway. So I just I basically I've had a look at that. And I've managed to get a fix for it. So I just want to explain to you guys how I fixed that and um, basically how you can do it too. So this is probably the last episode on problem solving and fixing issues that we're going to cover for a while. I want to get back to installing containers next week and some applications. If you guys haven't followed our previous episode and have come today to find some general fixes, this is probably not the video for you and you might want to watch one of our other videos. If you guys are experiencing any problems that I haven't covered in the last couple of episodes on common issues, please put them in the comments below on YouTube or on our website in our comment section on the actual Pacific blog for that episode and I'll do my best to get back to you. Now I can't help with individual issues that seem to happen you know, from not following the correct guides. So what I would suggest if you have a problem that occurs um, and no one else has reported that problem, so it's most likely something that you have done wrong. So I would suggest basically reinstalling, going back from the beginning and going through the process again but if there is a recurring problem that happens on the Raspberry Pi I will do my very best to cover it and I'll put it in a future episode. So if you guys are ready we're going to get straight on now and we're going to have a look at that image problem we had last week, why it happened and how we can resolve it. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to come into our browser and we're going to log into our Portainer dashboard and we're going to click on our local here and then containers. So I'm going to go through the steps that I took with LIDAR and um, see if I can replicate the same spamming issue with the images to see why that happened. And then we're going to look at trying to resolve that issue to make sure that we do not have that problem again. So looking at our images in here and the Watchtower email that we've received here. So this tells us that our um, sonar here is um, needs an update. So we're going to cover sonar today and how to update that. So we're going to come into our containers here. And we're going to click, first of all, we're going to click on images. And as you can see, we've got nothing in there that's unused. So no images that have been downloaded, which we didn't want, or just hanging around taking up storage. So I'm going to go back into containers now, and I'm going to come down to sonar, and we're just going to stop it. Now one thing I noticed at a glance here is that if you look at the sonar container, it says here that it's the image is 99DA05. It's got some string there. Instead of actually saying the um, you know the actual name of the image and the location and the actual tag, it's not got any of them on there. Now this could be the reason why I had problems. So I'm going to follow the same procedure that I took to try and update this sonar to the correct version. I'm going to click on it, and then I'm going to click on recreate, and I'm going to pull the latest image, and then I'm going to click recreate. Now. The same thing that happened with LIDAR for me, it just stuck on this recreation in progress and it just had this sort of icon humming in and out. Now it doesn't go any further than this, it just sticks here, it doesn't move. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to sideline this, come back into containers again, click on sonar again, I'm going to click on, instead of click on recreate and causing that mess, I'm going to click on duplicate and edit. And then in here where it says image, I'm just going to put on a colon and then I'm going to put latest. And then I'm going to change that old. So it just says sonar, so correct that problem. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to leave everything else the same. And it says it's going to always pull the, the um, image, so that's what we want. And then we're going to click on deploy the, deploy the container. And then you can see in here now that underneath sonar, it now says that the image is now labeled rather than some random string or the string of the container itself. So we're going to go to 192.168.2.5. And then 8989. And there you are. We're now in Sonar. This has been updated to the latest version. So if we go to System, and we can see down here it's now running 306196. So if we go back to our images, now you can see it's pulled all these images here. So we've got you know all these different versions. Now see see how it can easily fill up. So if we look down here, we've got AMD 64. We don't need all these versions. We, all we want is the sonar latest. So what we're going to do is we're just going to select all of these containers now, the unused ones, and we're going to remove them. So 
So now that that's all completed, we can see here that we now only have our sonar latest with the correct tag on there. So if we go back to our containers now and we click on sonar and we click on recreate and pull the latest image, click on recreate now. You'll see that that no longer hangs and the process completes. So just give it a second, it should kick in. And there you are, that has created successfully. So if we come back into our images here and have a look. Wow. So I'm, I'm gonna keep going until we can find a fix for this. So with the Linux server images, with the radar, sonar, and the lidar, it, if you put latest, it pulls down all of the images. So we don't want that to happen. So what we're going to do is we're going to go back to here. So we're going to go to Docker Hub. And we're going to search for Linux server. And we're going to look at Sonar, because that's what we've been dealing with. And we're going to look for these tags. So there's, there's, there's the latest tag. Okay, so the, the latest tag refers to all three of these architectures. So I think that's why it's pulling it down. So what we need to look for is on the first page here, it says here under the architecture, the ARM HF, we need ARM uh, 32 version 7 latest. So that is the switch that we, that is the tag that we need. So we're going to come back into tags and we're just going to paste that into here. And this is the image that we are going to be downloading. So we're going to replace the latest to ARM 32 version 7 latest. And we're going to come back into our containers. We're going to go to our sonar container and we're going to tick on the little tick box and we click stop. Now we're really going to be specific now on the image that we want to make sure that it doesn't keep creating all them duplicate images of all the different architectures. And then after this sonar where this little colon is, this is where the tag goes. We're going to remove latest and we're going to put in there ARM32 version 7 latest. And then what we're going to do is we always pull the image and then we're going to come down to the bottom here and we're going to click on deploy the container and then replace. Okay, that's worked. So we're going to look at the sonar now and look at the logs. Make sure that it's fully operational so we can log into the interface, which it is now. So we're going to come into a new tab and we're going to go to our sonar to make sure that it's working correctly. And as you can see, it is working perfectly. So if we come back to Portainer now and click on Images, you will see that it has pulled the Sonar ARM32 version 7 latest. It's still holding this one probably because that's what it was created on the base, but it's not pulled down any other images for any of the other architectures. So that's perfect. So what we're going to do as a final test is we are going to recreate that LIDAR container. So we're going to go to Docker Hub. And then we're going to search for Linux server. And we want forward slash LIDAR. So if we scroll down the page here, it'll have the, the usual tag here for the ARM32 version 7, which is the Raspberry Pi. So we're just going to double check that that image exists. And there it is. So we know that it's there. So we're going to come back into our portainer. And we're going to click on Stacks, because that's originally where we built LIDAR from. And we're going to click on LIDAR. And we're going to click on Editor. And then just after here, where it says Image, we're going to put a colon. And then we are going to put the ARM32 version 7 latest as the tag. And then what we're going to do is we're going to update this stack. Just got to wait for this image to be pulled down. And it should deploy now this new container image with the correct tag. Okay, so it's done that. Now we're going to go to Containers. And we're going to look for LIDAR. I'm going to click this little log button here. And we're going to wait for it to fully boot. And it's starting on port 8686. So we're going to come in here. And change this from 8686. And there you go. So what we're going to do is we're going to come back to do the images and we're going to check to see which images are in here. And as you can see, no other images have been spammed through. 
and we go back to containers and if you look at lidar across here it says the arm 32 version 7 latest is now listed as the correct image for lidar so if we click on here again duplicate and edit you'll see it's correct one there so that's what it's using so what we're going to do pretending that there is an update for lidar we're going to click on lidar itself we're going to do the usual updating process We're going to click on LIDAR again. We're going to click on recreate or duplicate and edit. Recreate. Pull the latest image and click on recreate. As you can see, it's now created it. We we'll click back on it now and start it again. And if you come into images, you can see that it hasn't spammed through all the images. And all it's using is the latest version there with the correct image tag. So that's all it's going to do. When it looks for updates, it's going to look for updates to that specific tag and it's going to stop that spamming issue using the latest. So just showing you where the problem lies. If you go into local, then containers. And you can look down here, you see Nginx app is unhealthy. Now if we look at the log, You'll see that it cannot connect to the database at all. And it, we're getting this error, this global error. Now, if we look in the Nginx database, we can see that there is some problem internalizing the plugins and it just keeps aborting. So this is what we've got to fix. So we have updated our episode six on our website. If you come onto Raspberry Pi series and scroll down to episode six, we have put the fix on there. So you can copy all the commands from here today. If you scroll down about three quarters down the page, you will see the Nginx Maria database fix and it has all the commands that you can run to apply this fix. But I'm gonna show you now how to run this in real time. So what we're gonna do first, we're gonna look into Portana. And we're gonna come into our local here. Then we're gonna go into containers. And we are gonna come down the line here and we're gonna click on Nginx database. I'm gonna tick the box. And then we're also going to tick the box on the Nginx app and stop them both. So we're going to come into our um, terminal session and we're going to SSH into our Raspberry Pi using SSH tag P for port and then the port number, our username and then our IP address of our Raspberry Pi. So we're now going to put in our password and then we're going to clear this out. So we're going to navigate to the MySQL folder and then we're going to list out the contents. Now we want to remove all the log files in here. So this log file, this log file, and this log file. So what we're going to do is we're going to go sudo, and we're going to rm, and then we're going to go, first of all, we'll do this one here, the very first one, with the dot and all the o's. So we're going to remove that first. Put in your password. Okay, so now, then, if you can see here, it's no longer there. So now we're going to do the same remove, and this time we're going to do the log control. And we're going to do the same command. And then for a very final time, we're going to get that last IB one there. Uh, and we want the underscore log file. So now if we ls out the contents of that folder, there's no more log files in here. Okay, so just clear this out. And we'll ls15 one last time so you can see the difference when we have run the container. When we run that container again, it's going to recreate these log files for us. So we're going to come back into Portana, and these two containers that are now stopped, we're going to start the database first, and we're going to click Start, and we're going to let that run, and we're going to go into the um, log files, if we can just find it again, here it is, and as you can see down here, it now says Port 3306, Maria Database Server, and if you come back into here and you ls the contents, these log files have been recreated. Now it's these log files that were causing this problem. So that is all you really need to do for that. So what we're going to do is we're going to come back in now and go to containers. And where it says Nginx app 1, we're going to now start that Nginx app again. And it will say start. So it's going to wait for this to go to healthy. And there you are. Uh, Nginx app 1 is now healthy, which is what we want to see. So we're just going to log into our, our Nginx dashboard just to make sure that it has completed the process of starting up. And it was on port 81. And we're going to log in. And as you can see, everything works as it did before. So it's now working correctly. 
So if you have problems with your Nginx proxy manager where it's not connecting and the database is showing up in the log files, which you can find under here, where you click on Nginx database one and you click on the log files. So if you follow these instructions, you should be able to fix your Maria database and get your Nginx proxy manager working again. So this concludes today's episode. I hope you guys got benefit out of it. If you did, if you can hit that like and subscribe button as well as the notification bell, you'll be notified of any of our new uploads. In the description box below, we have links to today's blog, which will have all the commands written out there today for you to follow. Or you can look at episode six, Nginx Proxy Manager, where they have the Maria database fix. Also in the description box below, you will find links to all of our compatible hardware with our entire series. These are all parts that we have tried and tested and know that they work really well together and they're compatible with everything that we are doing on our channel. If you guys use any of them links, they are Amazon affiliate links. We get a small bit of commission back for each sale. It comes at no extra cost to you guys. So just using them links we get a little bit of commission and all the people that have used them so far we do thank you for using them so all that's left for me to say now is thank you guys for watching and i'll see you in the next one